Hey guys, this is Ron Gilak, home business entrepreneur, and today I'm here in uh, Tucson, Arizona at a um, private entre Christian entrepreneurial mastermind event. And it's been really powerful, really transformational. And I wanna share um, something that I picked up, a tip that's gonna change my business and the way that I also communicate um, with people and just the way I, I go about life. Um, so today we had a challenge of you know like go shoot a video about something and I was like okay whatever big deal I shoot videos pretty regularly as, as you know if, if you follow me and um, we went and had lunch and we were like running out of time to to do these videos and the whole like for the first half of lunch I'm just thinking like oh I can do it about this I can do it about that and just like striving and thinking about okay how can I connect this to you know something that's going to push my business forward that is going to help empower people to prosper or you know get another coaching client or um, you know promote the the lead generation system that I that I use to help people um, you know any of those things and then you know one of the women here um, in our in our group started you know like really experiencing a breakthrough doing during lunch and just talking with us and I was just like Whoa, 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 hold on. I have to stop and really just be present to what is happening right now. So the video didn't didn't matter um, in that moment. And what I took away from this is to stop striving. When we do things a lot of the times in our own strength and are just like, you know, constantly trying to to make money, push the business forward and and you know, boom, 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 perform, perform, achieve, achieve, achieve. Uh, you know, a lot of times, um, almost all the time in the past, this has left me feeling unfulfilled, empty, sad, depressed, which is a little counterintuitive because the world's definition of, of success is usually involved with making more money, right? Um, growing your audience, having more followers, all that kind of stuff. And the reality is, is that every time in the past that I have done these things, that I've hit new ranks, that I've gotten a bonus check, that I've gotten some kind of accolade, um, sorry there's bugs here um, that I was been I've been excited or hyped for like four minutes literally like very short amount of time and it did not fulfill me but when you see striving and doing things in your own your own strength you're really put into position of leaning and trusting on God which is the ultimate source of fulfillment and provision in our lives um, as believers and as, as Christian entrepreneurs and, and business owners. So I wanted to cut this video today to share share this um, this verse again that I, I share quite often. Matthew 6, 33, Seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all of these things will be added unto you. We don't have to do things in our, in our own strength and, and just constantly try to hit an X rank and just be so obsessed with that or be obsessed with uh, achieving constantly or making the next dollar because if you are really trusting in God to meet your needs and provide for you and you're seeking seeking him through everything that you do that you do you know our God is big enough to provide for you to provide for me and to um, you know progress the business forward out of the abundance that he gives us so I'm Ron Gilock empowering people to prosper making it an awesome day and I'll see you on the next video